Hey everyone, I'm Creepasaur Inc, and I'm here today with uh, Draco Saxophone. Yo, yo, it's your boy Gosma. And today we're talking doing, about the uh, ban list, specifically the cards that were removed from the ban list, if you can tell. Would you like to uh, tell us a bit more about this? Well, I don't have the list up on my computer right now, but I do know a bunch of the stuff for Magician Pepe craziness is off the ban list from when I did the bandless video. And when I first saw it, I didn't really think much of it until I looked at, it was one of the following sets. And I just saw like all of the magician support that's coming out for Pendulum. And that deck's gonna be ridiculous. It's it's gonna be Pepe 2.0 deck that's gonna be broken. Well, not broken, but it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be like a high tier deck. because. Mm -hmm. Pepe was an extremely consistent deck to begin with. Very. They had access to their deck, like, a lot. All the time. All the time, and especially with the Magicians, uh, and especially with a card like um, Pendulum Call, and Wisdom Eye, and they're getting back Skull Crobat Joker, so they have a good normal summon that isn't too big of a cost, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not really doing anything, it's just like you're using your normal summon. Yeah, that's already, that's so, like useless now because everyone just uses brilliant fusion for a double normal summon and they can just plus through it anyways yeah and the deck was at, at its time when magician pepe and just pepe decks were out uh more, more so just like regular pepe uh it was so strong at the time that they had to come out with the adjusted list which hadn't been done in a very long time so for them to come out with to, with them just dropping a stuff, bunch of stuff off the ban list for Magician Pepe and for just like regular Pepe decks because you, they still have access to three um, Pendulum Sorcerer. Right. And that, that card is ridiculous in the deck. That card rose up to $88 at one point, if I remember correctly. Yeah, until that's how, that's how good the deck was. That was when it was at full power, of course. But this yeah. is going to be like at full power, but it's going to be more the Magician build. Right, because um, as you all know, the... Uh... The damage juggler is still banned. Along yeah, plus four range damage juggler and plush fire and the l the luster pendulum combo is is dead. Um, but with the with the, all the magicians, it just it yeah, it's, still it's just be essentially you have a bit more spammability now. Now that Crobat Joker is coming off, the Wisdom Eye is back. Pendulum Call is now back, and that's already a broken. Yeah, card. Pendulum Call is an amazing card. Um, it's, it's a plus I mean, like one of the zero, biggest outs but... to cards like that. Um, out right now is Ghost Ash or whatever his name is, Ash Blossom. Yeah. But not everyone can afford to play Ash Blossom, unfortunately, because they decided to make it like a short print secret rare. And if you want to uh, know why, well, you can probably check the annotation for the video about it. Yeah, because, um, yeah, that card's really good. Yeah. Um, also, Masterpiece is really good, but that's a separate video. That sure is. Yeah, so, I don't really know, like, I don't know what their thought process behind it was. I guess they were like, hey, people loved the Magicians when they were out. Uh, they were easily accessible through the Structure Deck that, or Starter Deck, whatever came out. Yep. They were easily accessible, and a lot of people uh, went to them very quickly, because they were easy to get, and they, it was a really good deck. Yeah. yeah um, yes. And I feel like they were, they were like, all right, we have this ban list. We have all this Magician support coming out. But without the Magicians on coming off the ban list, these aren't going to be, it's not really going to be profitable. So a way to make the set a little bit more profitable to those players and to a lot of players that do still like Pendulum because there's a lot of them out there. Yeah. Um, let's let's just drop a stuff a bunch of stuff off the ban list that is utilized for all of these other cards that we're coming out with support for. So I feel like that's their big draw factor for t to that set. Yeah. One of their biggest draw factors because it, it's like it gives players something that they want to try and pull out of the set, so that means they're going to buy more of it trying to pull those cards. Right. Which they do with every set. They always make sure that they have a card that every player wants to try and pull. Like, obviously, Maximum Crisis, you got the Diagram and Ghost Dash. Right. Um, and with some um, upcoming sets, you have, like, Crystal Wing, Link. Yeah, Crystal Wing and Minerva coming out of the Dragons of Legend, uh, which you can check out the video that we talked about that. We, it just blew our minds. The only two cards that we saw on the list, and it was amazing. Yeah. So probably we'll do another video on that later Maybe. when there's like a full list and we yeah. can just read off what other like off of two cards that's pretty much setting the uh the bar pretty high yeah setting the bar pretty high for what what else can come out like if those are the only two good cards coming out of that dragon's of legend i i wouldn't care 
Um, because, like, past Dragon's Legend sets, they were okay. You know what I mean? They, were they, they weren't, like, they the, were the really must-have sets. Except for, like, Dragon's Legend 1, which just blew everyone freaking minds with hat format. It's just like, oh my god, Ice Hand, Fire Hand. Yeah. Every day. It was really just Plus 2 that edition. was the disappointment. Uh, Dragon's Legend 2 was... It, it was a sequel to a very good, me like, meta-defining set, and it was awful. It was just I mean, there was Mirror Force enemy Dragon, points. which did hold price for a while. I mean, I sold, like, four of those at maximum price. But after a while, after people realized that this set was terrible, yeah. they just they just stopped buying stuff from it. Although, it is incredible because it does hold those Aqua Actresses. Oh yeah, Aqua Actress Best Deck 2014. Yeah. That was the video. Uh, if you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe, but don't hit that like button because we don't want you to break your screen and file a lawsuit. So please, just yeah. click it. Just use your mouse, just move over, yeah. click it. Also, there's a thing that YouTube uses, it's like a bell near the subscribe button. If you guys really like our content, hit that thing because then you get notified. You are getting notified uh, three times a week that we have a new video. Yeah, so you, again, if you guys don't know, if you guys are new, we upload Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Awesome content. Yeah, we have Just, um, currently top deck theories on Thursdays. We have deck profiles and dual videos on Wednesdays, and we have this, the little discussions on Fridays. I mean, Friday is kind of just a free-for-all, but yeah, we do a lot of discussions on Fridays. So, on that note, I'll let Draco Saxophone close this out here. Yes. So, just to sum this all up, Pepe can make a return as Magician Pepe, and uh, the Dragons of Legend sets, one is good. Three, looks promising. Two, had Aqua Actress. Yeah, but that's best deck. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, we did do a video on how links are kind of stupid, which they are. I mean, I personally don't like them all that much. Ha <laughs> hilarious. But, I just feel like links are something that at first it seemed really really dumb and really unnecessary and there there, there are probably other ways that they could have gone about fixing the game but the game has had it's the same thing with what they did with norton just nipping the problem right in the bud